Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. So we're gonna get a uh, message from your spirit team that you need to hear at this time. Um, manifestation, I heard your manifestations uh, were kind of on pause. They're coming back in. Uh, some about the passion, the passion that the collective is feeling is gonna be renewed and um, reset. Like you're gonna feel passionate about manifesting again. I think what it is, is it's because, <gasps> stop, stop. Oh my God, I didn't even notice this. I swear to everything. On this deck, the top of the deck, it says, I'm trying to manifest you. You can't really see it. It says, I'm trying to manifest you. And on this deck, it says, I'm trying to manifest us getting back together. I swear to God, I swear to God. And then we just had the manifestation card. That was not planned. Something about, guys manifestation something oh my god it's like it's like what i'm getting is you're gonna feel so much more empowered and excited to get a manifestation because a manifestation comes in one is coming in and it's it's like gonna excite you to build on that and to have more momentum and get what it is you're 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 oh my god the splash come on unreal unreal manifestation again you're, you're manifesting something and it's like, it's going to excite you so much that it makes you want to manifest something bigger that maybe you, you had blockage and resistance to before. Okay. Wow. Guys, that's insane. Okay. 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 All right. Let's calm it down. Let's calm our tits here. All right. What's going on? Spirit, tell me more about this message. Home. Home. Something about like how normal it feels, how how good it's gonna feel. Like you're you're at home in your own body, you're at home in your own mind. Talent, exactly. You have like this natural raw talent when you're actually calm. When you're actually in your own mind and some other fucker isn't up there messing with your mind, you are actually really naturally talented at manifesting and you're really good at it. Mm -hmm. You're going to think that you're, you're going to be like, I can do this. I can do this. Some about um, maybe somebody is trying to manifest a home or a change in your home life or something like that. But once you get a manifestation in a different area of your life, you're going to start wanting to manifest something that you thought was off limits. You, you thought you couldn't do it. Trust. Wow. It's like, it's like you were building up trust in manifesting. It's like, it's like, Say for instance, you get a promotion at work, but it was really tough for you to buy a new house. You're gonna finally feel like, because you got your promotion, you can buy a new house. It's just gonna avalanche, it's gonna snowball. Everything that you wanted is going to come in, but it starts with that one first manifestation. Let's get a, let's, let's, let's see, let's see. Holy Spirit, tell me more about, where are they manifesting please? Calmness, calmness, quiet, quiet and calm in the mind. Joy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just a lot more peace, calm. You get to be in the present moment and you're building from the present moment. What are they manifesting, please? What are they manifesting, please? Forgiveness. It's like you're forgiving yourself. I'm not really getting that you're forgiving someone else. I felt like that was yourself. You're forgiving God and you're forgiving yourself. For getting you in this mess. That's what I heard. Mindset, mind, mindset shift. For getting you in this mess. You're the one getting you out of this mess. All right. So manifestation. Yeah, guys. You, some about you're going to manifest one thing. And it's going to feel so good. And it's going to be such a pleasant. Oh. I, sh I swear to God. I swear to God. You guys. You won't believe me if I told you. I have chills. I have chills. Can you see the goosebumps? Hair standing straight up. Present moment fell on the floor. Told you, fucking cold it. You're literally gonna be so much more in the present moment where the attitude of gratitude can fully take place and you can feel it. You can really feel the gratitude even if you don't have something. Like you feel grateful for a million dollars before you even have it. And this is how you manifest more into your reality. I'm telling you, you're so much more in the present moment and that's how you're going to manifest this one thing. This one thing that you want. Well, actually, the one thing that you want comes later. But there's this, this, this proof of manifestation working in your favor. 
it works. It works. You're going to be like, holy shit, that worked. And then the thing you want is coming in. Because you're going to be in an attitude of gratitude. And that's when this new, the thing that you really want comes in. Okay, all right. Tell me more, spirit. Can I know, um, why am I so nervous? Why am I so nervous in your energy? Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. I feel like a lot of you are trying to get out of that feeling of like um, nervousness and I'm scared, I'm scared. And you're just forcing yourself to be in the happy thoughts. More focus. Yeah, you're more focused on the happy than you are the sad. Your focus is shifting. Your mindset is shifting to positive. And you're going to have an easy time manifesting. I'm telling you, it's going to be so easy. It's, you're going to be like, oh my God, this I'm fucking talented. This is a natural, raw fucking gift. It is. Everybody's a natural, talented manifester. It's just that I think you were focused on things that were not bringing you happiness. And so you just created more of those things. So yeah, you guys have um, a manifestation coming in and it's going to show you how good you are at it. And it's going to entice you to keep manifesting and then you're going to get that big one that you want mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. timeline shifting love it you guys your mind is just so it's so aligned it's so much more aligned with the timeline you fucking want you dropped some baggage I heard, I heard a lot of you have taken this idea that other people can manifest for you or they can manifest you into their life. You have erased that concept. It's like a secret was revealed to you in the law of assumption and the law of attraction. And it's like, nobody can manifest for you. You manifest for you. And no one can pull you into their reality without your fucking permission. You're God of your reality. I just saw 707 on the clock and look at here, 777. Ah, oh, guys, what? Like, what the fuck? Look at you creating all these magical moments, bitch. What is this? We have peace here and boundaries. Like, you care so much about your boundaries. You are in such a state of peace. I, bro, these, eh, what? It's magic. Winning something. You're about to win. You're about to win something that you wanted. You're about to manifest something. It's going to be a win. It's going to be a big W. Okay. What might it be about? Let's see. Illumination. Hmm. 999. Hmm. Good news. I'm getting something here about how somebody views you as well. It's like somebody's becoming illuminated. Something about you are their blessing. And in life, if they have you in their corner, if they have you in your circle, then they're going to do really well for themselves. Somebody is realizing that about you, Collective. Now, I actually feel... A lot of people are noticing this about you, but one in particular, I think you should be with. I think you should be trying to manifest. So, so, well, you're gonna be feel so grateful soon. Just hella grateful, hella grateful. And it's gonna put you in the attitude of gratitude and then, and then everything comes in, everything. Quickly too. Subliminal is working. Your subliminals are working, guys. What you keep telling yourself, it's fucking working, okay? And once once the manifestation works, once it comes in, once that first thing comes in, I'm telling you, it's like, it's going to snowball. I, I'm getting that. Any other message here, Spirit, for this one? What else? What else? Psychic abilities. lighten your load. I feel like, I feel like you guys are just, let go of an injustice somebody was doing to you. Could have been forgiveness for someone else, but I really feel it's, it's, it's more forgiveness for yourself. And I feel like that's lightened your vibration so much that you are now so much more psychic. 
more than you've ever been. And that is actually enhancing your manifestation abilities. I think you can see clairvoyantly and you can hear clairaudiently so much better. So when you hear telepathy or you hear somebody calling you on the phone or, you know, you can visualize somebody, you know, like being with you or something. You can visualize winning the lottery more. It's something like your psychic abilities are so crystal clear. They're so perfect. They're fully online that this is how you're going to manifest that first thing. And that first thing leads to the attitude of gratitude. And when that is felt, that bigger thing comes in. Okay, I'm telling you, I heard big kahuna, the big fish, the big fish, the one, the one thing that you really, really want, it's on the way. But a smaller manifestation is going to show up first. Mm -hmm. Answers. Oh, oh my God. Manifestation again. Answers to your manifestation. This is going to answer all the problems. It's going to be the answer to why your manifestation was stunted. I feel like you've, you've already solved it. You could drive a Lexus. I heard that. Or a Lexus. I heard a, a Lexus, like the name. Or a Lexus. I'm also getting solar plexus. And I'm getting something about like, you're, you're, you're soon going to have an answer to why your manifestation was halted. And then once that is answered, you, you deal with it, you bring in a, a manifestation and then boom, all of them come in. It's like avalanche. The world. It's, it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a cycle of you not getting your shit because you didn't expect it is what I'm hearing. You didn't expect your stuff to come in. Four of Pentacles. And so you, you expected the, the universe to be fucking greedy with you. That phase of thinking the universe is greedy. Miser energy. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You're discovering something. You're learning about that. You're learning about the fact that you created the universe to be a narcissist. To hold back intentionally. The way you view God is like, oh, I'll receive something, but then I'll lose it. Or... I might get breadcrumbs and I'll just have to deal with it my whole life. No, no, no. It's, it's that you didn't think bigger. You didn't dream bigger. Ten of cups, girl, four of wands. You're going to have a lot to celebrate soon, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Think fucking bigger. Think bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. I'm telling you, think big. Think big. This is not the time to think small. It's just not. The sun. Oh my God. You guys are so fucking happy. Ace of Swords. So happy soon. Oh, I love it. Let, let me know down below um, when you get your manifestation and only when, because you don't need to tell everybody everything. Not everybody needs to know what you're trying to manifest unless you know that you're that bad bitch and nobody can fuck with your manifestations, okay? If you know that no one can see an evil eye, no one can, can fuck with it, then comment down below and let us know what it is. But I really want you to write it when you get it. Okay, I heard the name Casey. Casey? All right, guys. I love you so much. That was a great message. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.